so I'm up I am dressed I'm just in this jumper that I wore last night that you would have seen in a vlog before this I'm also wearing leggings don't worry I'm not wearing slippers um, I am wearing them shoes right here and I have my bag packed I have my coat ready to bring with me I don't know whether to bring that one or that one I'm not 100% sure I would rather bring my walking jacket with me because that is lighter I do need to get a face mask for my face but when I get up there, I have things charging, I have my Fitbit charging, my earphones charging, I have my phone charger in my bag. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So the bus is at quarter to one in city centre and I'll be meeting himself at the bus stop. So you will probably see him on the bus. I'll probably do a clip on the bus, you never know. Um, you will see the mm, the hotel room. I'm not too sure what way to do it. I don't know whether to do day one and two, and then day three and four. I'm not hundred percent sure. I might just do day one, one, two, and three, and then do a separate one, maybe when we're coming back, and that can be basically going home and when packing or something like that. I'm not too sure. I need to think about it while I'm up there basically but I heard the Christmas markets are open up there so we might go and have a sneak peek at it um, and then there's some Halloween festival that's going up on there up up there so we'll probably go out and have a look on it because it's around the area that we're staying in so we don't have to travel anywhere um, but yeah no I'm excited so I am um, I'll be getting the bus at 11, it's 25 to 11 now so I'm just getting myself ready and stuff like that, making sure things are charged up for me and yeah, I'm basically, I'm basically ready, I think he's ready as well, um, he told me last night, he sort of packed last night, um, so yeah, so all ready to go, cannot wait. So exciting and I'm pretty happy my face cleared up over the hallway. I'm so happy. But yeah, golly drip, here we go. Alright guys, on the bus now. Let's go. Guys, we have arrived in Galway. Just heading to the hotel. We have arrived. So as you've seen in the last slip I gave you a tour of the hotel, it, it, it's actually bigger than the Bunny Cork, it's an actual hotel room and the view that we have that's the view we also have a little mirror here Just going to the shop. Alright guys, we have we went to centre, came back, rested, and now we are heading out for some food. So there's the birthday boy. <laughs> My handsome baby. Looking all handsome Peace. tonight. 
and so we have find we found a nice Chinese tapas so we're going to give that a try and um, we were mainly trying to look for a buffet but there's actually none around so yeah guys we have finished the food we are heading back to the hotel now it's starting to rain a bit and I've no cooked wood but it's fine I'm gonna be washing my hair either tonight or in the morning anyway and in in our room we actually have a hair dryer so I won't have to go searching for it so I'm happy um, yeah so the two of us had egg fried rice with shredded duck and veg and then we just had water because we have drink and drink back at the room that we will have and we have a few we got a few munchies as well so we did so yeah did you enjoy your food yes me too What did you think of the place? What did you think of the place? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright guys, back at the hotel now. They even gave us a fortune cookie. Well, gave us two, but I think we lost one on the way home. But we're going to share one. I opened the fortune cookie and that's what it says. Enjoy life. It is better to be happy than wise. Good morning. Morning baby. Morning. So we are all up showered, washed my hair, but I'm going to leave it up in a ponytail today. I have my Halloween t-shirt on because it's Halloween. So happy Halloween to y'all. Um, not too sure what to do today. I think it's meant to be raining today. I think. <laughs> um, but we'll probably still do the bus tour. <laughs> but we'll sit like downstairs inside the bus yeah. but until then we'll probably sit upstairs with the part with no roof but then when it gets when it starts raining we'll probably go down stairs inside the bus if there's seating we just need to bring our coats i'll definitely bring my coat today because it was raining when we were on our way back to the hotel from going for dinner so yeah so we're just getting basically ready to head out um are we going to get breakfast or something yes it was breakfast yeah, we'll we'll to yeah we're going to go get some breakfast i'm basically just wearing leggings halloween t-shirt and i'll wear my hoodie and i'll bring my coat with me just in case but yeah so this is day two and well, guys we are on the bus we're doing the sightseeing of Galway so we are we went for breakfast as well we went to a lovely cafe and um, I had pancakes with bacon and maple syrup with one hash brown and one sausage and Wally had what did you have here? you had porridge hash brown and beans and now we're off to do the sightseeing
be all over the county. The Islanders, as well as the thousands of visitors that travel here each year. From here, you can be at the Iron Islands in a little under two hours. 45 minutes from here to Rossville Harbour, and then a further 45 minutes on passenger ferry to the islands. And under the control of the 14 tribes of Galway, the city prospered. The dock is currently a tidal dock, which means it is tide dependent. The gate opens an hour before high tide and then closes one hour after high tide. As you can imagine, this isn't ideal. As part of a redevelopment of our docks, the Harbour Company and the Port of Colway have an ambitious plan to extend the harbour and reclaim some of the sea. This will accommodate larger vessels and cruise ships into Galway City. That came up along the west shores of Europe, down along Galway Bay and destroyed some of the buildings here in Galway City. Spanish Arch since then has gotten its name because of the Spanish merchant vessels that once docked here. We are now passing over the River Corrib, the fastest flowing city river in Europe. To our right hand side we have the third neighbourhood of Galway City. We were in Air Square, we then seen the Latin Quarter, this is Galway's West End. A more alternative side to the city, an eclectic mix of cafes, bars, eateries, and hotels. You will see three standing stones, our family memorial, sitting in what is officially Celia Griffin Park, named after a young girl who, with her family, had walked to Galway during the worst years of the famine in search of food. Although the family eventually found help from local religious orders, young Celia was so starved she was unable to eat and passed away in 1847. She was six years old. Those coffin-shaped stones represent the thousands of souls that left Galway Bay fleeing starvation and destitution on board coffin ships. The majority setting course for North America in search of a better life, many of which never made it. It is thought that 50,000 souls perished while making the journey during Ungurtha Moor, a sad time that has shaped us as a people. It is not often that landlords are remembered with fondness in Ireland, but in the 10 years after the famine, this area of the Clada remained a poor village. Many fishermen had pawned their equipment to survive. We will be passing through and stopping in Salt Hill Village in just a few moments time, so we won't give it all away just yet. And that brings us to our Salt Hill stop, which is actually the halfway point of the Wild Atlantic Way, stretching from just west of Derry City all the way down the west coast to Kinsale and County Cork. The Wild Atlantic, and to this day, Salt Hill still has a strong bingo culture, with one of the leading venues our next stop. Never mind Las Vegas, the real Caesar Palace Casino is here in Salt Hill. Now you've probably already noticed one of the most beautiful and eye-catching buildings in our city is our cathedral. Officially named the Cathedral of Our Lady Assumed into Heaven and St. Nicholas, Galway. This magnificent building has attracted visitors from around the world and is open to the public. Stone used, taken from just outside the city. Connemara marble for the floors. Rafters made from American redwood and stained glass, some of which came from the Vatican City itself. Now, would you like to hazard a guess? What age? What do you think? 
with a mix of styles and architecture. It can be hard to pinpoint what age she is at first glance, but surprisingly, construction on the cathedral finished in 1965. We're really good at making stuff look old here in Galway, making it one of Europe's youngest cathedrals. JFK, once again showing his connection to the area, made a sizable donation towards the building, due to return and officially open the cathedral, but sadly passed away before he had a chance to do so. Now as we make our way closer into the city centre, you'll notice a number of canals you'll walk across and travel across throughout the city. These canals intersect the city and were previously used for the transportation of goods from Galway's harbour up along the River Corrib and supplying these goods into North Galway via Loch Corrib. Now these were the highways and byways of Galway City. Think donkey pulling carts, carrying goods was easier by boat than it was by transportation on rural roads. Today, these canals are no longer in use, but they add a beautiful touch and a nice backdrop to a walk and a splash of color and nature inside bustling Galway City. Now looking to your left, you'll see Nuns Island. And as the name might suggest, that lovely white building you can see there is a convent. It's a convent for the Order of the Poor Clares. They are a closed order, swearing an oath of poverty, chastity and silence. With only a few designated nuns permitted to interact with the outside world. Now, if you're feeling particularly spiritual, or if you're in need of some spiritual rescuing, maybe a bit of poverty, chastity or silence, just hit the hop off bell, the driver will happily stop. If you're lucky, you might be able to spot some fly fishing happening to your left. But if you were to follow the banks of the river on the left, and a short stroll will take you into Wood Quay and our friends on board the Carp Princess River Cruiser. This takes visitors on a beautiful cruise up the river and back again. And if you're interested, you can talk to one of our travel coordinators for details. To our left, as we weave into the city once more, we have our city and district courthouse. Built in 1815, this is still our courthouse today. If you were unfortunate enough to see yourself in front of the judge here, there was a possibility that you would be sent to the city jail which sat on the other side of the river where our cathedral sits today.
Right, guys we have finished in the museum now so we have so I don't know where to go now we'll probably go for some trees maybe but um no the museum wasn't really that big but it, it was nice to go see and um, well, he's just gone toilet and then when we come out we'll probably go have a look through the Spanish arch 16 the Spanish church is here the city museum it so they're right beside each other so we'll probably go have a look at the Spanish um arch so we will all ready to go out for a another meal tonight's oh, meal My baby is all dressed up. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> back from the restaurant while well, he's just gone over to the shop to get us drinks they gave us cute little little chocolates can't wait to try them we're heading back up to the room now to just chill out i might take a bath good morning guys we have been up for a good while we went for breakfast and now i'm just running over to Centra because he's not feeling the best so I think today is just going to be a lazy day so I won't really be vlogging much so yeah Alright guys I'm just out of my bath now my baby has taken a shower um, bath. I got him a, a lovely hot bubble bath. So he's in there enjoying it. I'm out here now just resting and cooling down, watching a Christmas film. Sure, why not? 
the first of November. Um, yeah, we didn't really do much today, but I did go out and got two Galway magnets because he you know me with my magnets. So this is the first one that I got. So nice. And that's my second one. So I got them. And I also seen these. I was like, mm, mm I'm gonna try these. These are brand new. I'm gonna try them. We also picked up more drink. Well, I still have two cans left, but he picked up more bottles. And I bought a West Coast cooler and Pringles for tonight because we're going to go out. I'm treating him for his birthday meal tonight. So I am. So he's to choose where to go and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get all nicely dressed up. I'm gonna wear my black jeans and my purple jumper. So I am. So yeah, I also need to fix my hair, but I'm waiting until I've cooled down a bit. And then I'll straighten my hair, get, get ready and stuff like that. He used to choose where to go for his meal, his birthday meal, and I'm treating him to it. Since we've been down here, he's been treating me. So since I got paid today, I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna treat him to his birthday meal tonight. And we might go to a pub and just sit in for an, uh, one drink. I might have a cocktail, he'll have a pint and then we'll come back up here and finish our drink and just have a chill night because we're going home tomorrow so we are going home tomorrow um so yeah hello people we're here um so this is our basically check out day home time <laughs> he's not he's not too happy about it. <laughs> so I just wanted to for us to come on here to kinda tell you our experience with Galway. You go first. That was fine. Food? Awesome. <laughs> Prices for the food. Okay. No complaints? No complaints. Same with me. No complaints. Um, the hotel was decent enough, wasn't it? The staff were very lovely, so they were. They came in yesterday to clean the room. They gave us fresh towels every morning. So they did. Gave us fresh cups <laughs> and glasses every every morning. Um, yeah, the food was very nice, the places that we went. We went out last night. Um, I know I didn't, didn't video last night because I just wanted to enjoy last night. Um, we met with my Auntie Carol and my cousin Rebecca for a little bit when they finished work. And then after when they went home, I treated himself to his birthday meal. Didn't I? Yes. 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 And then we just came back here and just chilled out. He watched football. I watched a bit of TV and then we went to sleep and then we well he got up early. Earlier than me. I stayed in bed for a bit like, mm, a bit. And then we both got up, had showers and we have our bags packed and we're all ready to go. So, check out is 12 o'clock and I think it's only like half 10 or something like that. 10. So we have a good bit of time to chill out and then we're going to check out and go get some food and then go get the bus. Yes. And we're going to ask the bus driver to see if we can get off at Euston because it suits the two of us better. So. I hope you enjoyed your birthday away, your little holiday. 
Yeah. I'm gonna be I'm gonna miss him. So I am. <laughs> Cause I miss waking up to him, being with him twenty four seven. <laughs> but he's probably sick of me. He probably wants some me time to himself. <laughs> Anyway, we'll be seeing each other on Sunday anyway, so it's only uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days, so not too much. But yeah, it's three days to himself. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to end the vlog here now, because it will be home. So, bye! <laughs>